Don't, don't, no, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. It's going to damage your neck. Don't, don't do that. The reason. Hi besties, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Jadisola. I am now a Nigerian YouTuber based in Lagos. Today's vlog, I'll be showing you the tricks behind ventilation, the do's and don'ts, the rules of ventilation generally. So the first thing you're going to be needing is your head, your mannequin head, yeah? And um, you're going to be needing your net, your Swiss, net and you're going to be needing your ventilating pin guys this is the ventilating pin and this is how it looks like so there are different type of ventilating pin we have the wooden one and the one that looks like an ink i don't know the name but you're going to be needing this and your bundles or the one that the, the one that they've actually cut off that there's no um weft in it you need that or you can actually use attachment so on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how you're going to ventilate so you can actually use attachment if you know that's easy for you to use the first thing you'll be doing here you need to pin down your your net on your mannequin head so you're going to look for the for the line you're going to look for it and you're going to pin it down so when you're pinning down guys make sure you when you're pinning it down make sure you pin the ends down the ends of the neck down make sure you pin it down just like you i'm doing you're going to drag it then you pin it down So guys, the first thing you're going to check if you still have net, if you can still pinch it like this, this is wrong. You shouldn't do this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pin it down at the side. So there won't be there won't be space for us to pinch it. If you can see it very well, there won't be space for us to pinch it. So you have to pin it down very well at the side. You'll be needing your pin, your hand pin. This is what it looks like. You'll be needing your hand pin to pin it down. When you're done pinning, this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to check if you have any net. You can see that I can't even pinch it. So this is the right way of placing your net on your mannequin head. So just make sure you can pinch it. So this is the right way. Now guys, um, if you want to ventilate, you can use your ventilating pin. And this is how it looks like. I, I usually put my needle inside, inside this because it tends to break a lot. So if you're not careful, the if you're not careful, you can actually break. So guys, this is how the pin looks like, like this. This is the way it looks like, a ventilating pin. And you shouldn't use a, um, what's it called, crochet pin. Because if you use a crochet pin, it's going to damage your net. Let me show you how it is. If you put in your crochet pin, to drag it out is going to be difficult to drag it out like this it's going to be difficult it's going to damage your net see now nah. this is what is going to do to your net if you can see there's a hole left at the middle that is what's going to happen to your net if you use a if you use a crochet pin so I'll advise you to use your your um, ventilating pin or a wooden pin, a ventilating wooden pin. So guys, let's get right into the video. 
the first thing you're going to do is to cut off your your bundle or your you get your attachment anything you want to use well let me start with the bundle first and i'll show you with the attachment how it looks like so you're going to cut off your bundle like this you start off by cutting little first because if you cut big size it's just going to waste your hair is going to waste so you're going to cut it from beginning this is the way it looks like then you comb this out you're going to comb this out remember there are a lot of short short hairs like this so you have to just remove them out this is one short hair you just have to remove it out if you want to have a smooth job if you want your ventilation to be fine remove it so i'm done removing so now i'm going to fold your hair let's say i'm going to fold three inches of your hair so this way is going to look like then now if you're going to hold your ventilating pin don't hold it like this as if you want to write you no know, that's it that's the wrong way of holding but don't hold it like this you know it's not good so the best way for you to hold your ventilating pin is like this like this like this you're going to put it here then you place your hand like this so you'll be able to ventilate so this is how it's going to look like when you want to ventilate. So guys, if you want to ventilate, the first thing you do is look for a hole to put your hair in. See, I actually have a hole like this. You can see, you're going to put your hair in. You're going to pick two to three strands. Then you place it underneath it. Then you drag it out. If you can see, see the way it looks like, like this. Don't, don't put the hole into two lines. No, that is very, very wrong. Don't do that. Don't place it into two lines. It's going to damage your neck. No, don't. Or you say you want to pick from three lines. Don't do that. No, you're going to take it one by one. one by one then you're going to put your hair then pass it underneath make sure you bend your pin then you're going to bring it out then pull out then drag it just like this just like that again you're going to pick two to three strands of hair pass it down then you drag it out just like this so now guys this is the first step if you want to ventilate so now we're going to go into the spacing or the format of how you're going to ventilate if you're going to ventilate make sure you put a space in between just like this i've done Put a space in between and you're going to go on a straight line then you're just going to ventilate like that types of pin we have the one um there are different type of pin we have the one that comes in three to four and there's another one that comes in two to three and that one basically means the strands of hair you can pick from the pin this pin like this this is how it comes in it so you're just going to buy it like this at the market by your um hair is scattering you just have to rearrange all you need to do is just have to rearrange it back Remember, I'm using a coily hair, so it's actually kind of tricky when using a coily hair. You just have to be careful with your your bundles, with your hairs. If not, it's going to waste. So when you want to, just have to keep on arranging your hair. 
so it will not, it will not waste. Then now we're going to continue. So when you want to ventilate, don't do this. Don't don't do this. No, don't do that. It will be hard for you to pick the hair. So now this is what I'm talking about. Whenever your hair is cut scattered, you just have to rearrange it. You just have to rearrange your hairs. So you have it like this. So whenever you want to ventilate, don't do this. Don't, no, no, this is no, no, this is wrong. This is really, really wrong. Don't do that because the uh, the knot is going to be big. So don't do that. Don't. Do not do that. Do not do that. Or you say you want to do this. You're going to put two holes in, inside one. No, do not do that. It's going to it's going to rip your network. Do not do not do this. If you can see the knot is very very big. And you actually pick two nets together, so it's going to damage your net. So do not do that. So now you just have to ventilate like this. Let me show you with attachment so you see what I'm talking about. Now I have my attachment and um, so let me show you one. Let me show you an example. So now I'm picking, I'm picking three strands of hair and I'm going to drag it out like this. This is what it's going to look like. Let me do that again. I'm picking this and dragging it out. So this is the way it's going to look like. So remember guys, whenever you want to ventilate, there are different patterns of ventilation. I'm going to do a tutorial on that very soon. But if you're going to ventilate, make sure you have a space in between, just like this. Let me continue from this side. So guys this is the way it's going to look like so now if you're going to ventilate your second line you can either start from the same line you started this from you can either start from the same line you started this part from or you start from the middle from the middle like the second line you pick from the second line you start from there let me show you so now this is where the line is this is the line so is that you come, you leave a space in between, you, you ventilate, you leave a space in between, you ventilate here. You see, you leave a space, a line, you ventilate, or you come to the middle, or you come to the middle where this one is, then you ventilate here, like this. So let me, let me do that from the middle, so you see. So you do that when you start from the middle you, you put you leave a space in between you leave a space in between your lines when you want to hold your hair make sure you hold it like this just like this do not hold it like this don't don't hold it like that do not hold it like this because how are you going to ventilate she, you, will you be putting your hand in like this no it's bad do not hold it like that so when you're ventilating you hold it like this 
So this is the way it looks like, if you can see. So the first one is it started from here. You can't really see it because I used the black wave on here. So this is the first one. This is the second one. So this is what it's going to look like. So when you want to do the front, the your airlines, when you want to do your airlines, make sure you you don't pick too much hair where you want to do your airlines. So let's say for instance, this is our hairlines. You're going to make sure is you're going to pick like one one strand so you'll be able to achieve your airline. One, one strand. The airline. Remember, you have to put space in if you want to do your airline. Like this. So when you're ventilating, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. It's going to damage your net. Don't, don't do that. Don't. See the, see the knot is very, very big. So don't, don't do that. So guys, here you have it. This is the trick of ventilating. First, guys, please do not forget to like, to, to comment, and share the video. Please make sure you subscribe, guys. I'll see you on my next tutorial.